Hello everyone, welcome. This is Curtis from Rapid3D. Today we're gonna to be showing you guys how you can design new parts directly from scan data. All right, today we're actually at my home shop to show you guys one of my personal projects. Let's go inside and take a look. And here it is. This is a 1965 Lotus Super 7 replica car using a custom tube frame chassis with a Nissan SR20 engine. One of the engineering challenges that we've run into with this engine and this chassis is getting all of the, the stock Nissan bracketry to fit with the custom chassis. So some of it doesn't. So today we're gonna to be scanning the engine and the chassis and designing a custom intake manifold brace to replace the stock one. So in the stock configuration from Nissan, there's a bracket that runs from these two mounting points on the intake manifold down to this mounting point on the engine block. Unfortunately, this chassis runs an anti-twist bar through the engine bay, so that stock bracket's not gonna fit. So we're gonna design a new one. These mounting points are not planar and they're not parallel to each other. So measuring them with standard means like a ruler and a caliper would be nearly impossible. So we're gonna use the HandyScan Black Elite to capture that geometry. The HandyScan uses these reflective targets to position itself off of the part that we're scanning. So we're gonna place some magnetic ones on all the steel components and some sticker ones on the aluminum parts. So the HandyScan Black Elite is ideal for this project. It runs a blue laser system, which is gonna allow us to capture data off of both very light objects and very dark objects in a single scan. It also has a rather large standoff distance available to us. So we're gonna be able to capture geometry off of that lower mounting point without trying to shove our scanner inside the chassis. That scan turned out great. Looks like we have all the geometry that we need to design our brace from. So let's step into the office and get started on that. All right, we're in the office now and we're gonna do the actual design work on this scan data. So we have it loaded up into VX model. Now the first thing we're gonna to need to do is an alignment using the self-positioned hand scanners like the HandyScan Black. Uh, it sets the origin based on the first shot that it takes. So you can see here our Cartesian coordinates don't really make a lot of sense. So we're gonna throw a couple of planes on some of the important surfaces here so that we can align the data to the car itself. Um, so we're gonna use the VX model uh, triangle selection tools here. It's gonna apply planes to everything with a similar normal. Create three planes, there we go. And then we're going to apply an alignment based upon those planes. So we'll take plane one, you're going to be X, Y, the other direction. We're actually going to be aligning to the, uh, to the car, not to the, not to the, the engine block or the intake manifold. We're going to be aligning to the car so that in the future we can put additional scans together with this and the, the coordinate systems will, will line up. So there we go, we'll turn off our scan data there. 
All right, now that we have the scan data aligned, all of our Cartesian views start to make more sense. It's like our, our side on profile and our top down view of the car. So the next step is we need to extract all the entities that we're gonna do our actual modeling from. So we're not gonna be pulling the whole scan data over into Inventor. We're just gonna be pulling the entities. So we need to get the planes off of the mounting surfaces. Uh, we'll extract the bolt holes and, uh, and then anything that we're gonna have interference issues with. So we'll put some planes on that anti-torque bar that we need to design around, as well as probably the engine mount. And then we'll put some cylinders in for the starter and the oil filter to make sure that we have adequate clearance around those components as well. And there's all of our entities extracted. So we can turn off the scan data and just view the entities. You can pretty clearly see how we're gonna have to design this bracket in order to clear our anti-torque bar and our starter and whatnot. So now we're gonna transfer these entities only into Inventor, not the scan data. We're gonna use the transfer to Inventor button up here. That's gonna take all of those entities, push them over to a new part in Inventor in the same coordinate system that they're in in VX model. So we can work back and forth between those two programs and maintain the same alignment. So this is what it pulled in to Inventor. So we can see we got our, oh, we're upside down. That's all right. There we go. So we have those cylinders that we defined for our mount points. We got the circles for our bolt holes, the planes. That's our starter. This is our engine mount. And this is that anti-rotation bar or anti-torque bar that we're looking to avoid in this design. So now we have everything that we need to start designing. I'm gonna skip over a little bit of the design work. Uh, how you draft things is kind of up to you, but we'll do a real quick rough one here. So there is the basic sheet metal part. Now, the real key to this is because we did all of our drafting in Inventor in the same uh, coordinate system as we had our scan data in, what we can do is we can export this as a step file. Uh, we'll call this uh, intake brace. And then we can go back into our VX elements and we can import that back in. So we'll actually be importing a reference model and take brace right there. And there we go. So now we have that bracket that we just kind of roughly built in our VX elements or VX model session and we can unhide our scan data and we can see how that bracket that we just drew up in in inventor in like 10 minutes how it fits we'll turn our entities off there we go so that's what our bracket would look like and that's how we do direct scan to cad modeling without reverse engineering the components uh, we're able to build a bracket like this made it up to all the factory bolt holes and have no interference issues um, if you guys have any questions about what we did today or what we do here at Rapid 3D, we'll put our contact information below. Feel free to contact us anytime. Thanks for watching.